Go ahead and try this question. How many irrational numbers are there between one and six? So what is the definition of an irrational number? An irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a fraction. Uh, so for example, the square root of two, if you put that in your calculator, you'll get something that looks like this. Now this number actually goes on forever, 1.41421. This is a non-repeating decimal that goes on forever. You cannot represent this as a fraction. You can't write the square root of two as like, uh, as, the, as a fraction of integers. You can't write this as like, I don't know, three over two or, there's just no way to write this as a fraction just using integers. So that's what makes this an irrational number. And probably the easier way to think about it for this problem is that it's a, as I said before, a decimal that goes on forever but doesn't repeat. And if you think about it, if I look at the numbers between one and six, I can just pick at any point an arbitrary position. Well, let's say right here, four. I can just make up a number, 4.17636729901, and I can imagine that this number could go on forever, right? This decimal can just go on forever with varying numbers. There's no repeating in the decimal at all, and this would be an irrational number, and I can just make this arbitrarily. I could put one here. I could put one here. I could put one here, 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 right? There's an infinite number of irrational numbers between one and six. In fact, there's an infinite number of irrational numbers between really any numbers, any real numbers. So for that reason, uh, I'm gonna go with K as my answer because I can pick an arbitrary number of numbers. I mean, one other way to look at this is to actually use square roots. So the square root of two would work as a possible uh, irrational number here because the answer is between one and six. And we can keep going, right? So how about the square root of three? Square root of three would get me that. Square root of four is two, so that doesn't really work, but the square root of five gives me another irrational number. Uh, the square root of six will give me another irrational number. The square root of seven gives me another irrational number, and so on and so forth. Now again, I don't have to use square roots. I could use another number. I could use pi. Pi is an example of an irrational number. I could use e. e is another example of a rational number, or I can make up my own irrational numbers as we did previously. The point is, is there's an infinite number of irrational numbers between one and six. And in fact, as I said, there's an, ira there's an infinite number of irrational numbers between any two real numbers at all. So that's why the answer to this one is gonna be K. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.